generations of Catholics in the Archdiocese of Washington live out the values of Catholic social teaching in their daily lives. Over the past 30 years, Washington, D.C. has experienced a boom in financial stability for many. But while neighborhoods have been transformed, thousands of individuals and families have been displaced, adding to an increase in income inequality. As Catholic Charities looks to the future, it cannot help but think of its past and how it got to where it is today. For almost a century, Catholic Charities has built a community that values hard work, dedication, and compassion for others. Under the leadership of Monsignor John J. Ensler, Catholic Charities programs and services have been refined and strengthened. Today, more than 192,000 men, women, and children are given help and hope each year. Why, why am I here? Why are we all here? I think it's to make a difference and to give back and to pay it forward. I, I think that's what we're supposed to do. And if you're doing that, I think you have this sense of fulfillment and appreciation and frankly, gratitude for God's gifts that just continues to come out of yourself. We have a wonderful staff, a wonderful executive team. We have a spectacular board, but not to be forgotten is how many people make Catholic charities, if not their top charity, one of the very top places they want to support. I have a very strong philosophy. I've had it for almost all my priesthood, which is when you can say yes, you better say yes. And I think that's the philosophy I want to have our whole staff have, that if you say yes to people, actually people say yes to you. Over the last several years, as a board member and part of the executive team, we've worked very hard to really focus on areas that Catholic Charities can grow in the long-term sustainability for Catholic Charities. We're ambassadors of Christ, and ambassadors of Christ, our goal and mission is to feed the hungry and uh, take care of the homeless, and I think, um, as being ambassadors and having that as our mission, uh, helping Catholic Charities and saying yes, we're fulfilling the goal and the mission of what Christ wants for us as Christians. Catholic Charities programs are by far the most effective and efficient programs I've ever seen for giving back to the community. With an eye towards the future, we launched a very ambitious fundraising campaign. $100 million is our goal to support our community, our commitment, and our legacy. Jill and I have raised three daughters, all of whom went to parochial school, then Catholic high schools, and then Catholic colleges. All three of my daughters are engaged in some type of giving back to the community, and that's a very important thing to us. My sisters and I, we grew up seeing my parents involved with Catholic charities and other nonprofits, and it was just instilled in us that it's important to give back and to help those that aren't as fortunate as you. I hope that we get more and more young professionals involved now, so as we grow older, you know, we are able to keep up all the great work that our parents have done for this organization. You know, again, it's, it's really up to us to fill those shoes, and we gotta start now um, and get in the door. It helps fulfill my life as a, as a father and as an adult to, to see that, you know, the things that we believed in, our children have grasped, and they have run with it themselves. One of the first sort of big exposures we had to Catholic Charities was Carolyn and I were invited to do St. Maria's Meals. It was a great experience, and I, I felt like this is everything we were taught at Gonzaga. You know, this is, this is what our Catholic education has brought us up to do. Serving meals to the homeless moved us, it did. I think the 8333 Society is a great opportunity for young professionals um, to, to A, get involved in Catholic Charities. It's also a great way for them to get their children involved. And it's also fun. You're gonna be able to have a great time with other people who are the reason you all are there is because you're all focused on helping the people in our town that need their help, that need our help. If you're investing your entities or your hard-earned dollars into an organization, you wanna have results come from it. It's not just do they have a great mission and do I feel good about what they're trying to do. You wanna see that they're accomplishing 
what they're trying to do. I've had a bird's eye view of that as a board member of Catholic Charities, and I can say to every business leader out there, I don't know a better organization in terms of both a steward of your dollars, as well as an organization that's truly making an impact in the lives of the people that are gonna be your future customers and your future employees. We have a moment in time where I think we can secure the legacy for Catholic Charities for a long time. That's both through personal involvement, but it also is gonna require financial support, building an endowment that's gonna make sure that Catholic Charities can sustain itself years into the future, long after Father John is no longer leading it. 50 years from now, the problems may be very different, but we know that there are still gonna be problems. The need will always be here for an organization like Catholic Charities. What it looks like in 50 years will be maybe different, but the need will definitely be there. commitment recently was to build a substantial uh, programming uh, into Catholic Charities, something that may complement what Catholic Charities has been doing. And that need comes in immigration and welcoming immigrants who are struggling in this community, not only through homelessness, but for wrestling with the language barriers, wrestling with medical care, and really um, establishing themselves as families in the community. And Catholic Charities um, has done a very good job of guiding that community and we are proud and honored to um, support that effort and build and help it grow. Well certainly the immigrant community in our area in the DC metropolitan area Montgomery County um, in particular is a is an enormous opportunity for us to share what we have to welcome the stranger um, to do what we can to help people who are new to this country feel like they have um, they're part of our community that they're our neighbors not strangers. It's, it's amazing when immigrants come here in such a challenging environment and, and receiving the help from Catholic charities, they can get a job and get trained and, and get papers and, and, and then they pay forward. That's the ultimate goal of, of what we're supposed to do as well Catholics. The endowment at Catholic Charities has grown modestly since 2012. A substantial investment would have an immediate positive impact now and for generations to come. A strong endowment serves as the foundation of our work, ensuring we fulfill our mission to provide for those in need. The reason I think the endowment is so important, and this is something that we've been talking about and, and doing something about for a long time, our goal should be that we need to put Catholic Charities in a position where it can continue to provide services even during really down times. We, we can't expect that the economy is always gonna be great. And when there's a downturn, which will affect people's ability to donate in any given year, we don't wanna be in a position where we have to cut essential services just at a time when people need help the most. We don't wanna be forced to have to cut services because we don't have appropriate funding. Building that endowment will make sure that we're able to be consistent in providing service. I think that many people are attracted to the programs, as I am, that Catholic Charities pursues, as well as workforce development, but I'm always a futurist and thinking about what will happen when this community of givers is gone. And it's good to know that there will be an endowment to continue the work of Catholic Charities. You know, we have to understand that we can make the lives of the person sitting here in front of you today better. And then there's going to be someone else and there's going to be someone else. So we can't be discouraged. So I think one of the biggest challenges to sustainability is to not, dis not be discouraged by that. About um, legacy giving, so many people have immediate and ongoing needs for their families. Children still in graduate school or elderly parents, and it's frightening for them to make a gift or a substantial gift without knowing what their own needs are. And legacy giving enables them to, um, to plan for the future when all of the needs that they have to meet today have been met. I hope Catholic Charities in the future will continue to do the great work that it does, that it'll reach even more people. Catholic Charities will always say yes to those in need. I said yes. We said yes. We said yes. We said yes. I said yes. We said yes. Nosotros decimos sí. We said, said yes. yes. Beth and I said yes. We, we said yes. yes. We said yes. Jill and I, we both said yes. We said yes. We said yes. We said yes. 
We said yes. I said yes. We said yes. Will you say yes? Be a part of our community, our commitment, and our legacy.